Imagine getting an extra $300 or $250 every month from the government just for having kids. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. It's actually part of the new and improved child tax credit that was passed as part of the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this amazing benefit and how you can claim it for yourself and your family. So, stay tuned and don't go anywhere because you don't want to miss this. Hello everyone, do you want to get more money from the government this year? Do you have children under the age of 18? If you answered yes to both questions, then you might be eligible for the expanded child tax credit that was passed as part of the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. In this video, I'm going to explain what the child tax credit is, how it has changed, and what you need to do to claim it. But before we get into that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified of new videos like this one. So, what is the child tax credit? The child tax credit is a benefit that reduces your tax liability based on the number and age of your qualifying children. For example, in 2020, you could claim a credit of $2,000 for each child under the age of 17 as long as you met certain income and filing status requirements. The credit was partially refundable, meaning that if your credit amount exceeded your tax liability, you could get up to $1,400 of the excess amount as a refund. But in 2021, things have changed. The American Rescue Plan Act, which was signed into law by President Biden on March 11, 2021, has made some significant changes to the child tax credit for this year only. Here are some of the main changes. The credit amount has increased from $2,000 to $3,000 for each child age 6 to 17 and to $3,600 for each child under the age of 6. The credit is fully refundable, meaning that you can get the entire credit amount as a refund, even if you owe no taxes. The credit is advanceable, meaning that you can receive half of the credit amount in monthly payments from July to December 2021 and claim the other half when you file your 2021 tax return in 2022. The income and filing status requirements have changed, allowing more families to qualify for the credit. For example, the credit is now available to married couples filing jointly with an adjusted gross income, AGI, of up to $150,000 and to single filers with an AGI of up to $75,000. The credit phases out by $50 for every $1,000 of income above these thresholds. These changes are expected to benefit about 90% of American families with children and lift millions of children out of poverty. According to the IRS, the average credit amount per family will be about $1,380. In 2021 compared to $2,380 in 2020. The monthly payments will start from July 15, 2021 and will be sent on the 15th of each month unless it falls on a weekend or a holiday. The payments will be sent via direct deposit, paper check, or debit card depending on how you received your stimulus payments or your tax refunds. The payments will be up to $300 per month for each child under the age of six and up to $250 per month for each child age six to 17. The payments will continue until December 2021 and will add up to half of your total credit amount for the year. You will claim the other half of your credit when you file your 2021 tax return in 2022. However, there are some things you need to be aware of before you receive the monthly payments. First, you need to make sure that the IRS has your correct information, such as your income, filing status, number and age of your children, 
and your bank account details. If any of these information has changed since you filed your last tax return, or if you didn't file a tax return at all, you need to update your information on the IRS website. The IRS will launch two online portals by July 1, 2021, where you can check your eligibility, update your information, and opt out of the monthly payments if you prefer to receive the full credit amount when you file your 2021 tax return. Second, you need to understand that the monthly payments are based on an estimate of your 2021 credit amount, which may differ from your actual credit amount when you file your 2021 tax return. This means that you may receive more or less than what you are entitled to, depending on your income, filing status, and number and age of your children in 2021. If you receive more than what you are entitled to, you may have to pay back some or all of the excess amount when you file your 2021 tax return. If you receive less than what you are entitled to, you will get the difference as a refund when you file your 2021 tax return. To avoid any surprises or complications, you should use the IRS Child Tax Credit Calculator, which will be available on the IRS website soon to estimate your 2021 credit amount and your monthly payments. You should also keep track of the payments you receive and report any changes in your circumstances to the IRS as soon as possible. You should also consult a tax professional if you have any questions or concerns about the child tax credit or your tax situation. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the child tax credit. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who might benefit from this information. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the child tax credit and how it will affect your finances. I love reading your comments and feedback and I try to reply to as many as I can. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos like this one. I post new videos every week on topics related to personal finance, taxes, and investing, and I don't want you to miss out on any of them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.